the 2014 Russell Hamer Rally, the second round of the UAE Rally Championship organized by the Emirates Motorsports Club was a superb event, marking the first time that organized rallying returned to Russell Hamer in seven years. The event was a first in many other areas. Patron of this rally, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Saud Al Qasimi, the Crown Prince of Russell Hamer, took a keen interest in the event, making a personal inspection of the vehicles and meeting the various competitors. With teams not only from the UAE but also Saudi Arabia and Oman, this second event in the championship attracted a record number of entrants, 23. It would also be the first rally in the UAE since the 1990s to contain night stages. First away in this 227-kilometer event, Sheikh Abdullah Al Qasimi and French co-driver Cathy Derousseau. Second to start, Lebanon's Michel Salah and the UAE's Wail Marjan. Followed by the UAE's Mohamed Al Falasi and Syrian Imhad Nabhan. The Russell Hamer Rally was made up of eight timed special stages, the first three held in the desert close to Russell Hamer Airport, just off the El Dade Road. Top seeded Sheikh Abdullah Al Qasimi and Cathy Deriso in a state of the art Ford Fiesta RRC set the pace. Qasimi and Deriso are competing in the FIA Middle East Rally Championship together. This would be their second outing in the UAE National Championship, having taken second place in the Sharjah Rally earlier this year. Seed in second in a Subaru N12, Lebanon's Michel Sala, one of the best-known drivers in the Middle East, would be partnered by one of the UAE's best-known navigators, Wail Marjan. Sala sets the third fastest time overall in the first three stages, but leads the Group N category. The Russell Hamer Rally would be a demanding event. The well-known drifting champion Mohamed Al Falasi with the experienced Syrian navigator Imad Nafan would retire their Subaru in the opening stage with mechanical problems. For the Omani duo of Saeed Al Minji and Nasser Al Minji in a Subaru M15, seeded fifth, regular competitors in the Oman National Championship, the Omanis here set the fourth fastest time in the first two stages, holding on to second in Group N behind Michel Sala. One of the notable junior drivers competing in the Middle East Rally Championship this year as part of the Abu Dhabi racing team, Mansour Bilhili, with the internationally experienced UAE navigator Khalid Al Kendi in a two wheel drive Ford Fiesta. Amazingly, they claim the sixth quickest time overall in the opening stage. The format of this championship allows various categories of vehicles to enter. Veteran driver Ali Al Shawi and navigator Ali Hassan in a Chevrolet consistently set the second fastest times in the opening three stages. Seated in 11th, Norbu Hamid and Suhail Al Ali in their T1 Nissan Patrol would challenge Al Shawi for the lead in the category. While the 14th seated UK driver Mark Powell here in a Sang Yong Musso, a driver with many years of experience, would retire the Korean car with mechanical problems after claiming the 10th quickest time here. In the less modified 2T category, Saudis Khalid Al Hamazani and co driver Omar Al Shamari would lead. The UAE team of Ahmed Faham and Ali Mirza, two experienced competitors in a T3 category storm buggy, who finished the first round in charge, would face a multitude of problems, including a broken rear drive shaft and later on loss of the clutch. In only his second ever rally, Mansour Parol, now with new navigator Madhu Chandu in a Ron Oakley Mitsubishi Pajero seeded 20th, would move up the field after the first three stages. The Russell Hamer Rally would be unique in returning night stages to the UAE rallying scene. Set in the Russell Hamer city limits, a super special stage of 2.45 kilometers was run twice. Once again, Sheikh Abdullah Al Qasimi set the fastest time in the Ford. The top seed's wealth of experience, Qasimi, a former FIA Middle East champion, pushing until the end. Once again, Qasimi set the fastest times. The Super Special offered Russell Hamer residents to get a close but safe view of rallying. The night 
stages would see many changes in the overall standings. Several of the 23 starters had withdrawn by the second running of the Super Special. The 11th seeded Norbo Hamed here though setting the third quickest time overall. For the buggy of Ahmed Fahim and Ali Mirza, this would be the end of the line. A broken clutch would see them unable to complete the final stage. But for Parol and Chandan, in their first ever competitive drive together, they managed to complete this tough event. In this second and arguably most competitive event of the championship, Sheikh Abdullah Al Qasimi and Kathy Durasu finished as overall winners, also winning in Group R in a time of 55 minutes 57 seconds, a full seven minutes ahead of their nearest rivals. In the Subaru Impreza N12, Michel Sala and Wail Marjan won the Group N category in a total time of one hour and six minutes. Omani's Saeed Al Manji and Nasser Al Manji taking second place in their Subaru N15. While third belonged to the young driver Mansour Bilhili with Khalid Al Kendi. Ahead of the second Omani team of Faisal Al Rashidi and Humaid Al Wali. In the T1 category, Ali Al Shawi with co driver Ali Hassan dominated, winning the category in a time of 1 hour 3 minutes and 42 seconds, the second fastest time overall. In the Toyota pickup, Saudi Khalaf Al Shemari and Ahmed Al Shemari took runner up in the category. Just ahead of the UAE's Nor Bohamed and Sohail Al Ali in their Nissan Patrol. With the Mitsubishi Pajero, the all Indian team of Mansour Parol, Mahdu Chandan in fifth. In the T2 category, it was an all Saudi affair. Khalid Al Hamazani and Omar Al Shamari in the Nissan Patrol finishing in a time of 1 hour 21 minutes and 3 seconds. The second round of the UAE Rally Championship organized by the Emirates Motorsports Club had been a resounding success. With more competitors and strong support from the Emirate of Ras Al Khaimah, the championship is definitely going from strength to strength. <laughs>